Yo, this is BJ Gador and this is Wow One Wheel One. So what we got here is a hub of skater jumps or skater steps, the modification. That's the main move we start with and keep coming back to. And then we have five spokes. We've got the glute bridge, the hollow body hold, we have front plank and then left side plank and right side plank and I'll show those as we go through. Then you move on to wheel two. So the skater jump or the skater set, the big focus on skater jumps. Lateral side to side plane of movement, so good for the hips, so good for the heart rate, but easy on the knees. The key is you gotta stack your joints like an accordion. So if I'm locked in here, start with a step, back toe touch for assistance. Arms gonna swipe across the body, get those triple bends, ankles, knees, hips, swipe across, back toe touch, return. Inhale on the recovery here, through the nose into the belly. Exhale through. I want you to stick that landing. Progress by just picking up that back leg, all right? So we're locked in. And really, the more you push this leg back, the more stability and balance you can maintain. Keep an active back leg. Now let's go into our accessories, okay, our spokes. We have the glute bridge. Try to create a vertical shin angle to stress the glutes more. You can go either heels flat like this, or you want more glute ham and shin, pull the toes up and drive the heels in. It's up to you. I'm gonna open up my palms to get that upper mid back contraction. Try to pull yourself underground to strengthen the back and stretch the chest. Root posture. From there, inhale through the nose, into the belly. You're gonna hold that spot one time. Just mixing between inhale through the nose, and exhale through the mouth. Drive the air as low into the privates as you can. Doing that for time, good breathing mechanics. I can make this harder from a base support or stability standpoint. I'm going here and then to here. All right? Glutes, hamstrings, core stability, pelvic floor. Phenomenal exercise. From there, we're going into the hollow tuck as the next accessory. So the big focus here is you want to flatten that lower back into the floor. That's the key. You don't want to feel anything in the lower back in this movement. You're going to squeeze the legs together, try to drive the knees together, really get that pelvic floor engaged, squeeze that midline. You're going to tuck the chin, you're going to raise the shoulders off the ground here. And again, it's kind of tough to breathe in this position, that compression, but that's what we're training here. Inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Feel strain in your neck. Take the tongue and press it into the roof of your mouth. If you have any point, kind of pause and rest, get back in if you can. Again, it's all about breath. It's all about breath control. From there, we're going into our front plank. We're gonna elevate your hands, which makes it a more accessible body angle, right? No matter how advanced you are, start here. You gotta go back to the basics, lock and perfect form and technique. You're gonna squeeze the legs together and try to engage the entire midline of the body. I want you to take your fists and think about ice picking them into the box, bench, chair, ottoman, anything you can elevate your hands onto. If you need more elevation, go higher. The great thing about aerobic steps with risers, I can remove risers to make it harder. I can add risers to make it easier. So I'm locked in, eyes align with the fist, feet together, legs squeezed together, and I'm gonna try to round my upper back to activate my serratus anterior muscles. And then again, breathe through the nose, into the belly, Exhale, come up, continuous breathing in that fashion. Finishing off, you go left side, then right side, side plank. So, elbow aligned with shoulder, fist aligned with elbow. You can go staggered to make it easier, more stability support, stacked to make it harder. Here, here, it's up to you. But think about standing on your side. Same concept, inhale through the nose, into the belly, Full exhale from the mouth, just keep working that breath cycle for time. We do left side and then right side. That's wheel one. Wheel two is next, baby. Great way to kind of get it going. Cardio core. Woo ray, Jerry Pie! Wheel two, the hub or main move is a two to one box squat to box squat jump. So we mix in two easier reps, more static in place to one explosive dynamic rep, higher intensity, and we cycle that way. It keeps the jumps cleaner, takes pressure off the joints. Just a great way to approach this for longevity. And using the box will auto-correct your form and technique. 
You want to set the box height ideally to about top thigh parallel to the floor or hip crease just below knee crease. That's the lowest amount. I don't want you to go any lower than that. And typically, even some people have to go a little bit higher than parallel. Find the right balance for you. And again, big focus here is feet about hip to shoulder apart, slight toe flare. You're going to stay tall. And that box takes pressure off the knees and back and just makes it so that you clean up your technique and build raw strength from the bottom. So trust me on this. Do this on the box, a chair, find whatever you can to allow yourself to do this aerobic step with risers. So I'm here locked in. I'm going to reach, inhale down through the nose into the belly. Exhale up. Two of those guys. Land soft. Big focus. Don't let those knees collapse in. Spread the hips, land soft. Have some fun with this exercise. Heavy cardio, heavy legs, legs and lungs on this. You keep coming back to this movement. Here are our spokes. We're gonna start with a one-legged glute bridge here. Glutes, hamstrings, and core stability as well. Also stretches the hip flexors. So I'm gonna get locked in here. And if you find yourself at any point unable to do this with full one leg support, take this off leg, just put it down here like a kickstand on a bike. Still put about 80 to 90% of the weight in this leg. Just use a little assistance, okay? I'm locked in. Tuck that knee to the chest, engages the hip flexors, also locks in perfect lumbar spine or lower back position. I'm gonna inhale through the nose into the belly to find stability for my core and my spine. Smoothly exhale through the mouth on the way up. Not a huge range of motion here. You wanna feel nothing in your low back and you really wanna focus on crunching the abs to ensure that we don't hyperextend that low back, right? Do the left leg and next time you come through, you'll switch sides and repeat. We're gonna go hands elevated push up. Now, with the push up just in general, closer position tends to be more challenging, more tricep work. Wider is also more challenging than a regular grip. Uh, from a shoulder stability standpoint, it also tends to work the pecs more. So you can also kind of go right in the middle here, just about shoulder width. And if you have wrist issues, all right, where it's kind of tough for you like this, we can go neutral grip, either kind of holding like this, hugging it, or just take a pair of dumbbells and kind of grab them like this, or you can go onto your fist, just make sure it's padded enough. That's gonna be the kind of most shoulder friendly angle, wrist friendly angle for those that have that issue. Otherwise, we're here locked in. And again, add more risers to get more inclined to make it easier. You can progressively lower the risers one at a time to the floor if you have an aerobic step. Otherwise, use a box, a bench. If you'll make it work, lock it in, push away, just like on the plank. Push the shoulder blades up as far away from each other as you can at the top. You're gonna inhale through the nose into the belly on the descent for stability and strength. And then smoothly exhale up for strength power on the way up there. It's a plank but you're doing a push-up, right? That's when we did that first. Finishing off, you're gonna elevate the front foot. Low box step, a weight plate, phone book, encyclopedia, anything that allows you to make that work. This tends to be a little bit easier than a floor split squat from a front leg knee standpoint, all right? And it gets a little more hip stress, a little less knee stress. Also, a good way to stretch and mobilize the glutes, quads, hip flexors. It's a great movement. And again, we're going body weight on this. So single leg movements are the best way to intensify a body weight workout because you got all your weight on one leg. Yo, know, this, you know, it's about 60% front leg, 40% back leg. So it's still like a double leg movement, but it's also very spine and knee friendly. So I'm locked in, get on that back toe. And if you have a knee issue for all the split squat variations, try to maintain a vertical shin angle. If you don't have knee issues and you're ready for it, you have the mobility at the ankles and hips and quad strength. You can let that knee drive forward. You can come over the toe. As long as that foot remains flat, you're good to go. You can go with a closer stance or a longer stance. Long stance, more glute ham. Closer stance, more quad, okay, quad calf. I'll just say that kind of middle position here. You can go prayer here or we can go kind of Morpheus style. The choice is yours. Just make sure you keep tension in your upper body. A tensed upper body makes it so there's no energy leaks and movement can be driven strictly through the lower body, all right? Inhale through the nose, into the belly on the descent. Exhale up. Now with all these body weight movements that are dynamic, you start slow, all right? Add speed of movement. The breathing doesn't change. It just speeds up with your repetition style. So slow breathing, 
fast. Let your breath drive every single movement. What's gonna happen with that? More strength, more stability, and you're not gonna get as tired as quick, and you'll be less wasted after your workouts. It means you can recover better. It's good for the whole system. Let breath drive the movement. Movement is medicine. All right, have a great workout. Enjoy this one. Peace. Halfway. 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 Halfway.
fue. Halfway. 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 Go!
halfway. 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 Wait. Rest! 
Parkway. Halfway. Wait. Halfway. Halfway. Go!
Way.